Schmodown, the final frontier. These are the voyages of Team Trek. That's right. And we're playing... Who the fuck are we playing? I don't know. I'm from DC All Access. You're from Access Hollywood. At least we have access to things. What the hell is superhero news? S- superhero? Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Who are these people? Ooh. I'm pumped, baby. Super pumped. So pumped. We're feeling as cream as creamy butter, baby. We're going to get in this all up in the guts. Mm-hmm. It's going to be good. Now, know this, superhero news. If you want to fight us, you're going to have to come down here. You're going to have to come, come down, down here. here. Here's the number one weakness, okay? That Mance guy's stupid smile. Stupid nice, too. We're going to wipe that stupid smile right off of his face because as as soon as we get him with some trivia, he's going to stop smiling, and that's how we know we got him. We are probably, the captain and I, and and number one, we are probably the two nicest guys in this schmodown. Superhero News came out of the gate, never even been in the schmodown. They're already throwing shade at us. Jason Inman, more like Jason Outman. Ja win, more like Ja lose. Woo! He said it. Mm. We are going to boldly, boldly win the team showdown. Nance is out of fucking retirement. <laughs> what this number one? Yeah. Fuck you, Roka. <laughs> <laughs> We've got. I've been planning to say that for weeks. I my blood. I my blood. Here's the thing: stuff I don't know, Adam knows. Stuff, stuff I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Musicals, we're gonna sing all day, baby. Ooh, sing all day. Oh. Singing in the rain, son. We're going aye, aye, to sir. leave aye, aye. you as you left me, as you left her, Maroon, for all <laughs> eternity. Round one, win. Round two, win. Round three, a win. Round four, win. Round five, win. Lunch. W I N, lunch. If we hit comics, or if we hit sci fi, or if we hit movie dates, they are done because risk, risk is, is our, our business. business. That's what the schmodown is all about. That's why we're aboard her. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Except for, I can't even do that. Hold on. Yeah. All right, movie trivia showdown fans, welcome back to the Team League. I'm Josh Makuga. I am Clark Wolf. And welcome here, guys. We have a hell of a match today. Two first-time teams in the Team League. Uh, uh, two of the members of the team are veterans of the Singles League, uh, have seen some of the greatest singles matches we've ever seen. One of them, Scott Mance, uh, has seen what happens when the word Bespin is uttered. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what he does in the Team League here with Jason Inman. Clark, how are you feeling about today's match? I'm feeling good. I mean, you know, having just played my first team match my Myself. I know there's a lot that goes into it. Just yes. because you've played as a singles competitor before doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have a smooth transition into a team competition. Right. So I really don't know if one team has that big of an advantage over the other. Yeah, as a member of the Wolves of Steel, I'm a member of the Mega Powers. People actually take you seriously. They don't take my team seriously, but hey, it's a lot of fun anyway. Uh, guys, we've got uh, Team Trek, Jason Inman, Scott Mance versus Team Superhero News, Adam Lavick, Hector Navarro, uh, two two heavyweights in the superhero realm. What do you think? Do you think that their strengths being that they know a ton about comic books, do you think that we're going to see some redundancies, that they they may know the same things and that they may land on some question that neither one of them I don't know. I mean, you know, when you think about comic book movies and how important they are in the schmodown, they kind of matter. Not only can you spin that wheel and get those types of movies, but they make their way into comedy. They make their way into drama. They make their way into action adventure. I mean, it, the, it's the superhero subgenre is seen throughout the entire showdown so I think that could be a big advantage and you know we haven't seen Sandra Bullock on the wheel in a while and we haven't seen Sandra Bullock in a superhero movie yet just saying casting directors out there we'd love to see a Sandra Bullock superhero movie and I would love to be her stunt double as they as I don't know if you <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Miss Congeniality 1 and 2 were originally supposed to be superhero movies. I I did know that, Josh. I wrote those movies. Let me me ask you a serious question here. Uh, Being that you are such a fanatic of Miss Congeniality, do you think that Team Trek, uh, with their their knowledge of movie release dates on the man's side, uh, Jason Inman knowing everything about comic books, I mean, the kid knows more uh, than any one person should know about comic books. Do you think that they are an unbeatable team? Well, I don't know what that has to do with Miss Congeniality, Josh. It's but a hell of a transition, I wasn't it, Clark? I don't know if they're not unbeatable. I mean, those are huge, huge strengths, and I think the Team Trek absolutely complements each other when it comes to their individual knowledge. So that could be a huge strength. But then again, if you are looking at just sci-fi for Star Trek, if you're looking for just superhero 
movies and movie release dates. There's a whole lot else going on in the Schmodown, a whole lot of other categories. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all goes. All right, Clark, are you ready to get into it here on the Movie Trivia Schmodown Team League? Let's do this. Let's go to the tail of the tape. There we have Team Trek. Uh, strengths there, sci-fi movies, comic book movies, movie release dates, wearing graphic tees during interviews for the movies that's on their t-shirts. Solid, solid work. And we've got Team Superhero News. Yes, and their strengths are comic book movies, sci-fi movies, men in capes, men in tights, and men in tight capes. Men in tight capes, there we have it. Uh, Schmodown fans, are you ready? Fans, are you ready? Let's do this. Introducing first. From Super Hero News. Hector Navarro and Adam Lovick. Oh, he comes out on the man's shoulders. It's the classic piggyback, Clark. They're looking very super, Josh. Yes. I, I believe that is the superhero uh, team of Large Man and Smaller Man, uh, a very unknown Dark Horse comic, Dark Dark Image Image comic. I believe was there uh, that was that was issues back in 1999, 2000. Jason Inman might be able to correct me on that one. <laughs> All right, coming out next. The music sounds very similar to Team Superhero News, a lot like their strengths, which sound eerily similar. Representing Team Trek. Jason Inman and Scott Mans. <laughs> Throwing up their live long Oh, they're going full oh, there it is. Mance just had his kidney removed, but he does not care. He couldn't care less. The man always has a hey, smile on his face. <laughs> Good one, yeah. He did the same thing we did. <laughs> Team Number Trek. one. Two points for originality. Two points news. for originality. Wait, wait. wait. Movie Mance, what Mance, Mance Man. Who are these guys? Oh, and we're starting in early on the low burns. What? <laughs> Take it I easy mean, over there, Mance. Who are these guys? You got the two nicest guys here. Team Trek, the knowledge, the passion. We will boldly go. And the tardiness. monologues. The tardiness, great. We know down has gone before, but who are these guys? With the same passion as uh, Captain Kirk and some of those early shows that I've never watched <laughs> is Scott Mance with Team Trek. Guys, are you ready? to play in the team league of the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Engage. We were born to boldly go. Okay, round. Boldly. I've heard that seven times already in the first minute. <laughs> they're feeling bold, they're Josh. Feeling, they're feeling boldly, like boldly going places, Clark. Here we go. Uh, this is how round one works. You each get to answer three out of six questions, six total questions for the team. You cannot confer with your teammate. Not until round two can you confer. Team Trek, you are the favorites, meaning you can pick, would you like to go first or second? First. They are going first. They are boldly going first. I'm surprised they didn't say that again. Uh, team Superhero <laughs> News, would you like to pick from categories one or two? Category one. They're going category one. Team Trek, you are going first. Which one of you would like to answer first? Captain's on the bridge. Captain Mance, they are going from category two. Yep. Category two. Go ahead, Clark Wolf. All right. In the category of comedy, what 90s heartthrob portrayed the titular character's stepbrother in the 1995 comedy Tommy Boy? Stepbrother? Correct. Stepbrother. Oh, uh, Chris Farley. <laughs> that is that incorrect. Is incorrect. The answer was Rob, Rob Lowe. Lowe. Oh, Rob Lowe. <laughs> All right. Captain Mance. Yes. In the category of famous directors, Paul Verhoeven directed which Arnold Schwarzenegger film? Total Recall. Correct. Correct. There they are. One point on the board for Team Trek. Boldly going their first point. All right. You said it. You said it. <laughs> Captain Mance, comic book movies. <laughs> Frank right. Grillo appears as which character in Captain America Civil War? Say that again. Frank Grillo appears as which character in Captain America Civil War? Team Superhero News is chomping at the bit. Jason Inman. This is the luck of the Team League Schmodown. Oh, He's channeling. Dude, you should have gone first. <laughs> We're looking for five, uh, four, three, 
Nightito. To... <laughs> is incorrect. Nightito is incorrect. We were looking for crossbones. 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 Good, guess. Good guess. All right. Good after guess. the first two right. questions, we have Team Trek with one total point. Let's go to Superhero News. Clark Wolf, keep killing it. All right. Team Superhero News. In the category of comedy, what 1998 adventure comedy starred Harrison Ford and Anne Heche? I know the name. I know this movie. What is it? Oh, Six Days, Seven Nights. That is correct. That is correct. Give it to him, Adam Lovick. Good off one. The board Good first. It's not a comic book movie, and I knew it. You knew that. Relax. Right. You just tied us. Right. We're doing all right. Just right. young guys. Come little, on. little known fact: before this, writing out his bio, big Anne Heche fan. Who yeah, isn't? I, I mean, who isn't, Josh? Yeah. All right. Let's move on to famous directors. What director came onto the scene with 1991's dramatic *Boys in the Hood*? The John Singleton? It is John Singleton. Correct. Yes. Well done. Correct. Get out there and rake those leaves. All right. They're living up to their game. Ice Super. Cube, killing it. All right, Clark Wolf. And here we go. In the category of comic book movies, who played villain Bolivar Trask in X-Men Days of Future Past? That'd be Peter Dinklage. That would be. That's Correct. three for three. Damn. Damn. Superhero for team news. Superhero news. Coming in hot with three points. We are back to Team Trek. Jason Inman, your turn. Clark Wolf, let him have it. All right. Be quiet. It's my turn. Is that three you. to one? Yeah. <laughs> Please get caught. All right. Here we go, Mr. Inman. In the category of animated, what is the name of the king in The Little Mermaid? Neptune. That is incorrect. Oh. We were looking Triton. for Triton. For Triton. Yeah, Triton. Triton. Long, flowing gray hair <laughs> underwater. Indeed. And and a nice upper body yes. situation. Well, a barrel chested gentleman. <laughs> he was. He was yes. very fit. Sorry, number one. That's what swimming <laughs> does for you, Josh. Steady as she goes, Helm. <laughs> All right. In the category of sci fi fantasy, in which film will you find Tom Cruise as the father of two children? One of whom played by Dakota Fanning. War of the Worlds. That is correct. That is correct. Well done, Jason. Wait, Wait a kill number one. Oh, you have the time. Sorry, I'm not too Number one, you have the time. Sorry. One of Tom Cruise's best running performances in a movie. He did run a lot. He runs in, in every lot. movie. He ran a lot. He did, but in that one specifically. Oh, the firm. He was good. He was a good runner in the firm. Good All running right. in the firm. Yes. In the category of box office, and this is a multiple choice question. Okay. Which Julia Roberts film? has the highest gross at the domestic box office. Your choices are A, Pretty Woman, B, Aaron Brockovich, C, Hook, or D, Ocean's Eleven. I got it between two. I'm gonna say... Five, <laughs> four, I'm going to go with Ocean's Eleven. That is correct. That is yeah. correct. Yeah. 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 Jason Inman was being channeled by a, a, a very enthused Scott Mance. Oh, oh, I, thought, I thought Scott Mance's head was going to pop off of his body just now. And you wouldn't be Lord alone in thinking that. The con, buddy. He was channeling it with Ocean's Eleven. They are on the board now with three points. Jason made up, made up he really some did. Way to go. in that, in that All right, round. Let's go to superhero track. news with their final three questions. Hector Navarro taking these three. Clark, take it. All right. In the category of animated, Rip Torn voices which god in Disney's Hercules? Uh, that would be Zeus. That would be Zeus. Zeus you are it correct. is. Superhero News Superhero. is still <laughs> unfeathered. <clears throat> Doing good. Four for four. All right. In the category of sci-fi fantasy, okay. Dennis Quaid plays climatologist Jack Hall in which Roland Emmerich movie? Um, the Day After Tomorrow. That wow. is correct. Hector Navarro. They are five for five. Clark, the last question here in round one. All right, finally, in box office, and this is also a multiple choice question. Okay. Which Shrek film made the most money at the domestic box office? Is it A, Shrek, B, Shrek 2, C, Shrek the third, 
or D, <clears throat> Shrek Forever After? That's going to be C, Shrek the Third. That is incorrect. Oh, Shrek 2? Oh, they lost their perfect Shrek streak. Oh, Everyone knows knew Shrek 2. Come on. Shrek 2. Well, Shrek the Third was, was a massive the answer. Hit. We all thought, man, superhero news coming in hot here. Oh, boy, getting... five out of six five in round one. Their first right. team round? Right. That is impressive. Well, listen, What's the score? Is what is the score? Right now, right now, the score right now. Take it easy over <laughs> okay. there, Mance. The score right now, five to three in the, in the lead right now. Team superhero news. All right, let's go to round two. Clark, are you ready? <laughs> I am ready. All right, the lovely, the talented, the verbose Perry Nemiroff coming out here with the wheel. Yay, Look at her go. Oh, doing her best, uh, me, uh, with a nice light blue with Tails tuxedo coat. I'm well no done. Josh Makuga, but I have some shoulder pads in here. Oh. Oh. All right, Perry coming in with a nice burn. Well done. <laughs> round two, how round two works. Now it's time for the team to get together. You can confer. Uh, team Superhero News. You will spin the wheel first, but before you do, how this works. If you spin on your first spin, you do not like the category unless it is opponent's choice or spinner's choice, you can spin again. When you land on the second uh, category, you have to keep that. That is yours. You ask six questions. It is worth two points. If you want to go to multiple choice, it goes down to one point. Your opponents can steal. Again, if you want to steal, if they've opted for the two point, you get two points. You cannot drop to multiple choice. If they go to multiple choice, the steal is only worth one. You cannot lose points. Team Superhero News, would you like to spin first or second? Oh, we're gonna spin first. All Good right. choice. Good choice. <laughs> real spin. Spin it. Like a fake one? Like a real one? You know. Give it some manly spin on there. Oh, the rainbow goes Give round and round. Give it the superhero round. news. What did it land on? Uh, opponent's choice. That's opponent's oh, choice. Oh, opponent's Ooh. choice. The first time here in the team <laughs> oh, league. Oh, boy. my God. Oh, boy. Now. Oh, wait. Opponent, you we, guys can we choose them? what you would like to give to them. I oh, think oh, wait, 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 wait. Scott Man slowly <laughs> figuring out what exactly is going on over I here. I believe they, I, I think <laughs> this, this Don't. is. Now, now last. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 they're figuring out their strategy. Number one. They're arguing. They're strategic. You want to save it for when you guys get it, though. As most captains and number ones on the Star Spanner tries to give it to them. All right, should we? Well, yeah. I mean, would you rather make right, the most one. points on that? Right. We are going to give you the superheroes, Kubrick. Ooh. 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 Okay. Interesting. Now, Stanley. movie release dates, that is on the wheel. Am yes, I... we know that. <laughs> but if they get it, then we can't get it. Right. And I want yeah. it. All right. <laughs> There's a plan. The captain has a plan. <laughs> the captain has a plan. No one, no one doubted you, Captain. Energize me, phasers. Steady she goes. The category of Kubrick. This is going okay. to be interesting. Superhero news getting the unfortunate spin of landing on opponent's choice. Scott Mance and Jason Inman picking Kubrick films. All right, your first question here, Team Superhero News. Who won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for Spartacus? That would be Charlton Heston. That is incorrect. Can we go to Team Trek for the steal? Let's go with Edward G. Robinson. That is incorrect. We were looking for the lovely Peter Ustinov. Uh, Peter mm, Ustinov wow. won the best okay. supporting actor that was my for Spartacus. Yeah. Tough question. Tough, ah, tough question, tough question and a tough start a tough for, the, for both teams Listen, on the Kubrick the strategy category. of picking Kubrick is currently working. Okay, and your second question here in Kubrick. What was the last film Stanley Kubrick directed before his death? That'll be eyes wide shut. That is correct. Very Give them nice. two. Give them two. Give them two. Here we go. Okay, Team Superior News, your third question in Stanley Kubrick. I'm sweating. Which Kubrick film was remade in 1997 by director Adrian Lyne? Five, four. Can we uh, do multiple choice, please? You can. You can. I forgot about that. Thank you. Is it? <laughs> Barry Lyndon, Lolita, The Killing, Fear and Desire. Wait, can, I'm sorry, can you, uh, with just a pronunciation uh, uh, thing, can you read the second one again? Yes. Uh, Lolita. Okay, great. It's going to be Lolita? That is correct. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> just had to double check. Give them one. 
Question four. World War Three breaks out in which Kubrick Cold War classic? Five. One. Four. That would be Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. All right, Dr. Strangelove's mm -hmm. correct. Give him two. Mm -hmm. Nice job. It. All right, nice two job. more questions here in Kubrick. Mm -hmm. For Team Superhero News, what Kubrick movie features the spaceship Discovery 1? 2001 A Space Odyssey. That Let's is correct. Give, give the them two. Belt right now, why don't you? <laughs> Okay, yeah. sure. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Scott Whoa, hey, man, you, you picked it. Hey, come, come on. on. I thought Dude, you were going to your Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell was that? We will turn Bullshit. this car around right now. I will turn it around. The car is turning around. I am on it. main phasers, all weapons to full power. No, because I am on a table of kids right Children. now. Children. I'm surrounded by kids. Listen. Get it together. Jesus. Shut up, all of you. Josh McCuga, please. Opponent's choice can either work or it can fire back in your face. And currently, firing directly back in the face. Six. Your sixth and final question here in Kubrick. Kubrick directed which World War I film in 1957? You do multiple choice, please. You can. Is it Paths of Glory, All Quiet on the Western Front, The Red Baron, or Sergeant York? We'll go with All Quiet on the Western Front. That is incorrect. Team Trek for the Paths steal. of Glory, baby. That is correct. Paths of Glory. Right. They're okay. only steal of the round. We got a one. We got a one. Superhero <laughs> News racked up a good seven <laughs> points in that round, Dang, Josh. Dang, now it's 12-4 Team Superhero News. We are going to Team Trek for their spin of the wheel. Jason Inman giving it one heck of a spin. Hector Navarro giving doing it some help. Giving full power. They got to be thinking that they're going to land on one. Okay. Oh, he doesn't <laughs> want the help. He's, he's denying the help. Full power, number one. He's ang number one Please is angry, and what has he landed on? Cameron Diaz. Let's say no. Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> I will say no to that. Uh, Clark and I would have gone with a yes on that one. And that's unfortunately a no for Team Trek. What do we oh! have? Did it land on Cameron Diaz movies again? Oh, good. Jesus wow. Christ on a cross. <laughs> it landed on Cameron Diaz movies again, and I've been in this situation before. The wheel is rigged. It, it, yes, this is, it is rigged. I can Harry, confirm that. Uh, <laughs> here we go with Cameron Diaz films here. Round two, we Team League, Movie Trivia Showdown. Right. We're here with Team Trek. <laughs> Are you gentlemen ready? Yes. No. Your first question. Into the final frontier, Cameron what Diaz. What? was the first movie Cameron Diaz starred in. The Mask. That is correct. Give him nice two. Job. A lovely Cameron Diaz. 1994. The captain knows Cameron. There One of go. my favorite <laughs> Cameron Diaz performances. 1994. Not, we're, again, we are not giving out extra, extra points for release dates, but Damn. thank you, Scott Mance. Okay. What sport do we see Diaz character playing in There's Something About Mary? Team Trek conferring over there. Let's go multiple choice on They're that. They're going multiple choice. Is it A, golf, B, lacrosse, C, cricket, or D, basketball? None of yours. <laughs> no, it was. What was it? You want, you want to go for it? You go for it. Lacrosse. Lacrosse is incorrect. Mm. Let's go to superhero news for the steal. That'd be golf. That is golf. No. Give them a golf. point. They have stolen the point there. Okay, your third question to Cameron Diaz. Uh, this is a Clark Wolf question all the way. What did Diaz's character in My Best Friend's Wedding major in at school? Multiple choice. There we go. <laughs> Was it A, psychology, B, biology, C, English, D, architecture? Say that again. <laughs> Do you want the whole question or the options? All the options. Okay. All is it them. psychology, B, biology, C, English, D, architecture. Leave it to you. I'm leaving it to you. Number one, you have the cut. Architecture. That is correct. Give him the yeah. prize. Oh, oh wait. Wild they pull, uh, oh, you own an that awkward celebration from Jason Inman, but you lovely regardless. I'm, I'm just still, being wait, like our I, I need to get to the bottom of this. Why is that a Clark Wolf question? Because you and I both love my best friend's wedding. Do we not? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Apparently, I overstepped my bounds on that one, but I love my best friend wedding. It's not All a seven, right? right? Yep. Here we go. All oh, right. I assumed, and I should not have, guys. Never saw that movie. Lesson learned. All Is right. Sandra Bullock in it? No. Then I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Again, this round of categories brought to you by How'd You Get In Here? Cameron Diaz's <laughs> new movie coming out in any given Sunday. Diaz no, plays the new president and co-owner of a professional football team. What city was this football team in? Uh, multiple <laughs> choice. We're going multiple <laughs> choice again. Here we go. Is it A, Chicago, B, Miami, C, New York, D, Los Angeles? Any given Sunday, one of my... Say that again. Is it A, Chicago, B, Miami, C, New York? I'm going to say Miami. That is correct. Give them a point. Yeah. Give it up. That's Give it one. Up. Two more questions here. By the way, December 25th, 1999. All of that is 1999. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. All right. Question five. What no is points for that, damn it. <laughs> Question five. What is the name of the character that Diaz voices in Shrek? Princess Fiona. That is correct. Give him two. Lots of Shrek two questions. questions. Lots, of Shrek. Lots of Shrek yeah. questions. Yeah. What's no Star Trek. Shrek no Star Trek. Yeah. Shrek. Okay. <laughs> What's with the Shrek here we go. Question, your final question here in round two. Who plays Cameron Diaz's boyfriend in Charlie's Angels? Wait, I know this. Uh, Matt LeBlanc. Wait, no, no. You have to go. I'm sorry. That's God. your answer. That's your answer for two. I'm Yikes. sorry that is incorrect, Scott Mance. Superhero News, you can steal for two whole points. Would you like the question again? Yes, please. Who plays Cameron Diaz's boyfriend in Charlie's Angels? That would be Luke Wilson. That is correct for oh, two no. points. Oh, yeah. Two Big points. Steal. Two points. Big Luke Wilson, there. the other brother. I blew it. <laughs> All right. The score right now, Clark Wolf, is Team Superhero News 15. Team Trek 10. Gentlemen, are you ready for round three? Let's do it. Let's do me, it. Let me we break down how round can three do this. works. Round three works like this. You choose numbers between three numbers between one and 25. Your first question is worth one point. Your second question is worth three points. Your third question is worth five points. Only one of you can answer the first one. Only two, one of you can answer the second one. And the, you can confer as a team on the third question worth five points. Okay, Team Superhero News, you are up five points right now. Team Trek, you have to start answering. If you do not answer and catch up, it will be a technical knockout for Team Superhero News. Gentlemen, uh, Team Superhero News, you're in the lead. Pick three numbers between one and 25. Um, well, we got to go uh, 15 for Amazing Fantasy number 15, first appearance of Spider-Man. Sure. That's the first one. We'll go with one, Action Comics number one. Okay. Um, let me think of another. Uh, <laughs> and they don't Sorry, know a third. The <laughs> um, let, me, let, me pick another, uh, let me pick a third comic book example. In five, um, four. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had to do the clown down on taking <laughs> your numbers, Josh. Uh, Good thing there wasn't a category of issue numbers. 25. One to 25. <laughs> four for the Fantastic Four. Well, <laughs> all right. Fantastic yeah. Four. All right, one fan, yeah. Yeah. Jason Awful Inman, movies. Yeah. Hopefully the questions are set a number in the title. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I was going to pick those numbers. That's bullshit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, man. <laughs> Let me confer with the judges. Uh, no, they can pick they those can numbers. They can pick those numbers, yes. yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, team, Trek, your numbers, please. Between 1 and 25, you cannot pick 4, 15, or 1. Okay, go ahead. 17. Okay. It's right here, uh, it's right here on the shirt, Scott. 1. No. Well, you already picked 1. No, Scott. No, not not on. 1. Oh, oh, Let's go. 17. Let's right. make up Star Trek numbers. Seven, okay, 17, right? 17 okay. is one of them. Uh, okay. Uh, 5. 18. Okay. First two numbers of the Starship Reliant. 1, 8, 6, 4. And um, wait, wait, wait. Uh, five, which is uh, episode number five of the original series, which is the Enemy Within. Okay. Got it. Which is the one where Kirk gets for Star Trek two. So who's going first? No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Stop. No, 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 that's it. You're done. Sorry. Damn. We are. We are, what? We are stopping the question. Why would you chase it? What's Star Trek you, five? You, you, what yeah. category <laughs> is '90s movies? Who would like to answer for Team Trek? Captain's on a bridge. All right. <laughs> All right. Scott Mance, Clark Wolf. <laughs> Scott Mance. Clark Wolf. For one point. One point. In the category of 90s movies. 90s movies. Who directed and starred as Hamlet 
in 1996's Hamlet. Holy moly, wait a minute. Uh, Ethan Hawke. That is incorrect. The answer was Kenneth Branagh. Their next Hamlet. number right, so is okay. 18. Their category. three, the category is dramas. Dramas for Jason Inman. Okay. Go ahead, Clark Wolf. Who played the director of NASA in Ridley Scott's The Martian? It's the man from the newsroom. It is um, Jeff Daniels. That, that is, is correct. correct. Mm -hmm. Give him three. Give him Way three. Way to go, number one. Currently 15 to 13 Tomb Superhero News. Okay, Should for your five-point question, Sorry. you chose number five, and you are in the category of Disney. Disney, if you do not get this, Team Superhero News are today's winner in the team league. Clark Wolf, take it away. What is the name of the chimney sweep played by Dick Van Dyke in Mary Poppins? Bert. That, that is, is correct. correct. Give him five points. Oh, oh and they live to see Woo! another day. Nice job. Here we go. Nicely done. He nice tracked done. with a huge, huge They made a answer. big comeback, you know? They made, a, they made a big comeback because <laughs> I was a little nervous for them at first. They missed that, uh, that they one missed pointer. that one pointer, but they came back and they got the three and the five, picking up eight points in that sure round. Sure did. That's a huge round. Scary to JTE fans out there. That's 18 <laughs> points. They are currently leading Team yeah. Superhero News 18-15. We go back to Team Superhero News. Their first category, they chose the number 15. Your category is Jennifer Lawrence. Clark, take it away. Who will be answering this question in the category of Jennifer Lawrence? J -Lo. That would be me. Hector Navarro, <laughs> big Jennifer Lawrence fan. Great choice. Huge. I'm all about that winter's bone. Yeah. <laughs> in the <laughs> For one point, in the category of Jennifer Lawrence, who played Jennifer Lawrence's husband in American Hustle? She was totally miscast because she was way too young. Christian Bale. That is correct. Correct. Give him a point. Give him a that point. That is correct. Okay. Great job, but too young. All right, Team Superhero News, your question for three points. If you get this right, you are today's winner here in the Team League Movie Trivia Showdown. Your category, scores and soundtracks. Clark Wolf, take okay. it away. Okay. <laughs> Who composed the score for Mel Gibson's The Patriot? I'm gonna go with Hans Zimmer. That incorrect. is incorrect. Yeah. The answer was John Williams. John Williams is oh, the correct answer. Really? We are down Surprising. to the final wow. question. If Team Ooh. Superhero <laughs> News does not get this correct, Team Trek for the win, a big comeback. I'm sorry, did Here you say we go. Team Trek? Their final five point question again as a team, you can confer. Their category, action, adventure. Shit. Oh, man. <laughs> not the tension Cameron is Diaz? palpable. The tension is palpable. Action, adventure. Clark yeah. Wolf, take it away. Uh oh, look at her face. What comedian played the villain in the 1993 Emilio Estevez action thriller, Judgment Night? <laughs> this is a real film? What? <laughs> this is, is a real film. It is an I'm amazing told. film for those whether, out there. Whether we get this it. right or wrong, everybody was laughing. So that's for sure it's not our bad. It's if we a get question it wrong. and it's valid. Is it a competition? Your time is running yeah, out. Your time. The your time is running out. Can you, re can you repeat the yes. question? Sure, yes. sure. What comedian played the villain in the 1993 Emilio Estevez action thriller Judgment Night? Judgment Night. Five points. The victory on the line for Superhero News. And How much five. Time did they get? Good <laughs> lord. Four, three, two. Rob Schneider. And your winner, boldly going where none have gone before, Team Trash! The answer we were looking for was Dennis Leary. Dennis Leary was the Chris. Canadian. The answer I was looking for was Chris. Chris is our business boy. That's 
with the smoke out of his own mouth. What a comeback. That's why we're a border. Scott Vance, Jason Inman, today's winners. A huge comeback. Eight points in the third round to but take down Team Superhero News. I gotta say though, for for a first entry into <laughs> for a first entry into the Schmodown, Team Superhero News crushed. Formidable opponents for anybody out there. They were incredible. They were leading pretty much the whole game. I'm very impressed. I think this is definitely a team that people need to Absolutely. look out let's, for. Let's go to Perry Nemiroff with today's competitors over in the bricks. I am so fortunate to be standing here with the winners. I had faith. I didn't see it coming in the end. I thought you guys were a sinking ship. What happened? Well, just like any good starship, the only good, as good as your captain as your first officer. In the end, number one, and Captain Nance, steady as we go. We steered it through the nebula that is Cameron Diaz, and we pulled it out. And that's something that you don't learn unless you come into the Schmodan multiple times. You learn that you gotta just roll with the punches, and we roll with the punches and came out the winner. And I gotta say, just, just shout out to Team Superhero. That last question, Judgment Day, man, they got screwed. <laughs> Important follow-up question. The yeah. Do you know when that movie came out? The specific date? Right. No, no, you can't cheat like that. I want to know the specific month. The Come specific on, you're the movie month? date, I mean, man. I mean, 1993, a movie I saw once almost 25 years ago. <laughs> the fact that I know the year for that movie is good enough. 1993. Fine by me. All right. Important question now, too. Why go with Kubrick? Because, well, first of all, I love Kubrick. He made 11 great movies. And he knows a lot of Kubrick. I was waiting for them to get the wrong ones so I could get mm -hmm. the right ones, but they prevailed. They were they were pretty good. I also want to point out they had the easiest Kubrick questions I have ever <laughs> I've ever heard in my entire life. And I also have to say I was really hoping that we would get movie release dates mm -hmm. and if and if we gave that to them and we spun it we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have gotten. Yeah, we were going for movie release dates or comics for us and our strategy. You know what? We still won in the end. We in still the did end, it, you know. We're the ones moving on to the next And I want to say you can go back to the tape and watch that match, and you can tell that we are the classier ones because Superhero News, like that's the thing you don't know about the Schmodown. Like they were overconfident in the beginning with all their dancing and stuff like that. We played it cool and we won. Well, you played it cool. <laughs> I'm not very subtle. Yep. That's why I'm the first officer. Who's that's why I'm the, the first Schmodown, officer. Who's seen my other matches, especially with Roka, knows yep. that subtlety is not my skill. Yeah, I'm gonna put I, it down for a nap after this. I don't think you can ever play it cool, but you do the man's thing. It's your thing, it's and you thing, own it. And I mm -hmm. own it, and I'm gonna we're gonna own it again next time. Team Track, we're boldly going 10-4. Like that? Yeah, it works. It works. Yeah, you gonna stick with that one? Yeah. All right. So, so who are you uh, bringing the tagline to next? Who do you have your eye on? I think I know where you're going with mm. this. Someday. I don't have to say his name, but he knows I'm coming for him. I said, I said it wasn't going to happen, but it may happen after all. I'm just going to leave it at that. I wonder who he's hinting at. <laughs> I'd be hinting at. If you're watching, buddy, if you are watching and you know who I'm talking about, the truth is I love you like a brother. That's all that matters. But you're going down! <laughs> and I'll be there just between you two. I'll be fine. I'll give hugs to each. And there you have it. Team track. Good job, guys. Yep. Congrats. Thank you. I am here with the surprise losers, Team Superhero News. I really thought you guys had, I was sure you had it. What happened? We had a great lead, we came out the gate strong. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say we got boned on like a BS question, but we'll just let the internet decide. It was a BS question. <laughs> and uh, I went to the dark side and I didn't go with John Williams and that really mm. boned us too. That's an, That was an obscure Johnny Williams though, that's the oh. thing. Even Spielberg would tell you, he'd be like, oh, Johnny did that? Like even <laughs> he wouldn't know. Oh, come on. I kind of picture you crying in a corner tonight listening to John Williams scores. Yeah, yeah? that's accurate. <laughs> Me, pizza, crying, and John Williams. Again, Sorry. I just want to bring it up again that um, uh, we had uh, we heard every single question for both teams throughout the entire uh, day. Yeah. And not once did the crew laugh at the ridiculousness <laughs> of the question, except for the very final one, which sounded like a fake movie that yeah. somebody made up. Yeah. So who's going home to watch Judgment Night? I kind of want to. Mighty Ducks. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I'll probably be watching Judgment. No, I'm not gonna watch because <laughs> that, that that'll never be a question ever again. No, no never. So upset. So how are you guys feeling right now? I clearly that last question. It was super tough, super out of left field. Are you still feeling confident? Because you guys were like at the top of your game the whole time. 
Uh, I'm a little heartbroken. Hector probably feels a little bit better about this, but uh, it's fine. Back. You know, if we were to lose to a team, I think Team Shrek would, did a great job. <laughs> team Shrek really had uh, all the ins and outs, and they, Don't they be had in their Fiona. they had their bases covered. You know, they knew a very popular character from the Shrek franchise. So Team Shrek, they definitely earned that win for sure. So you know, they're doing good. They lived long and prospered. Damn them. So Tunnel Vision now. Do you want a rematch with them, or do you have your sights set on another team out there? We'll play anybody, mm. anytime, anywhere, anywhere. anyhow, yes. any day, any week, any month, <laughs> any, any year, year, any, any dimension, yep. any, any plane of existence, any planet. <laughs> I think you about covered it. <laughs> Team Superhero News. Job well done, guys. Thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. Fun. Thank you, Perry uh, Clark. Obviously, Scott Mance calling out John Roca again. This is hands down the best rivalry in the Schmodown. It is endlessly entertaining, Josh. <laughs> I must say, I never tire of watching it. Absolutely. I can't tell if they don't like each other, they love each other, or they really just want to bury each other 10 feet under. I think it's a combination of all of those. Interesting. Uh, now, Team Superhero News, they are not done. They obviously are a formidable team. We'd like to see them going forward. Uh, team Trek has a few more teams to beat before they can actually go up against the champs. Maybe we'll see them in the... Uh, the Schmodown Spectacular. You know who we will see in the Schmodown Spectacular? Who? Hector Navarro oh playing boy. in the Inner Geekdom Championship, a new belt here in the Schmodown. I got to say, I had a blast today, Clark. Did you have a good time? I had such a great time. Guys, Thank you had... for having me. Oh, man. It, it was a great, great time. Thank you guys for watching here on the Schmodown. I'm Josh Makuga. I'm Clark Wolf. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.